general and middle terms general and middle terms so ivlo naram enna paathom nama formula enna a plus b whole power n equals sigma k equals 0 n n c k a to the n minus k b to the k so k ku badala we can also write r illaya so i'll write r so i have r 0 r 0 to n n c r a to the n minus r b to the r okay so ipo first term n n c 0 a to the n b what is my second term n c 1 a to the n minus 1 b and so on so what do you see when your r is 0 it is term number 1 correct when your r is 1 it is term number 2 so how can you represent the terms i can write it as t of r plus 1 so if r 0 pota when r is 0 it is term 1 when r is 1 it is term 2 when r is n minus 1 when r is n minus 1 it is t n purida so basically whatever your r is your term is r plus 1 okay so what is the formula of that t r plus 1 equals n c r a to the n minus r b to the r adeda okay it is just which term it is adukada is the formula okay so t r plus 1 is the term order number terms number so it is r plus 1th term is n c r a to the n minus r b to the r okay okay now middle terms this is the general term but middle term middle term na en artham when you have a plus b the whole power n number of terms is n plus 1 so you have n plus 1 terms so if n is even what is your middle term number of terms in a n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 so if n is even it is n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 so n plus 1 is the number of terms plus 1 by 2 so this is your middle term so basically n even na n plus 1 is odd odd number ku in the middle term n plus 1 divided by 2 so you have n plus 2 divided by 2 which is n by 2 plus 1 so for example if your n is 8 what is your middle term i have n i have 8 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 which is equal to 5 so fifth term is my middle term yeah you have eight terms in the law n c 0 n c 1 n c 2 n c 3 n c 4 n c 5 n c 6 n c 7 where your n is 8 so i'll write 8 so 8 c 6 8 c 8 so how many terms do you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so when n is 8 i have nine terms and what is my middle term it is my fifth term so it is one two three four five so this is my middle term i have four terms on the top i have four terms in the bottom so this is when n is even what if n is odd if n is odd meaning n equals nine which four in how many terms do i have ten terms so what is my middle term it is n plus one by tooth term and n plus 1 by 2 plus 1th term. Abdi na anartho, when n equals 9, I have 9 plus 1 by 2 is 10 by 2, which is 5th term. And n plus 1 by 2 and 9, 9 plus 1, 10. 10 by 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6th. So, 6th term. So, when n is 9, I have 9c0, 9c1, 9c2, 9c3, 9c4, 9 c 5, 9 c 6, 9 c 7, 9 c 8, 9 c 9. So, what is my middle term? 5th and the 6th term. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, these are my middle terms. So, I have 4 terms in the bottom, 4 terms in the top. Okay. So, basically when n is even, what is my middle term? Number of terms, n plus 1, plus 1 by 2. So, it is n by 2 plus 1. So, this is for even. What is for odd when n is odd? It is n plus 1 by 2th term and n plus 1 by 2 plus 1th term. Okay? Don't get confused between even and odd. n is the power. 
n plus 1 the number of terms. Okay. So, if n is even, number of terms is odd. Odd is in the form. Okay. Example 5. If find A, if 17th and 18th term. So, 17 and T17 is nothing but T of 16 plus 1, R plus 1. Ilya? 17th term and 18th term. T18 which is T of 17 plus 1. Of the expansion are equal. In expansion 2 plus A to the power 50 are equal. So, they are given T17 equals T18. Okay. What is your N? It is 50. Okay. So, now what is T17? It is T16 plus 1 which is equal to N C R A to the N minus R B to the R where R is equal to 16 in this case. So, N is 50 C R which is 16 A which is 2 in this case to the power 50 minus 16 times B another A A to the R which is 16. So, this is T17. Let me have this. And I have T18 which is T17 plus 1 which is 50 C17 2 to the power 50 minus 17 times A to the power 17. So, these two are equal. So, I have 50 C16 times 2 to the power 50 minus 16 and 34 times A to the 16 equals 50 C 17 2 to the power 33 times A to the 17. When I bring A to one side and everything else to the other side, I have 50 C 16. What is 50 C 16? 50 factorial divided by 16 factorial times 34 factorial times 2 to the 34 divided by 50 C 17 and 50 factorial divided by 17 factorial times 33 factorial times 2 to the 33 equals a to the 17 divided by a to the 16. So, what does my LHS become? My LHS is 50 factorial, 50 factorial goes off. I have 1 divided by 16 factorial, 34 factorial. I have 1 divided by 17 and 33. So, this goes to the numerator and this gets cancelled. I am left with 1, 2. So, I have 2 times 17 factorial 33 factorial divided by 16 factorial 34 factorial equals a to the power 1 because this gets cancelled. So, what do I have? 2 times 17 into 16 factorial times 33 factorial divided by 16 factorial 34 times 33 factorial equals a. So, the 33 and the 33 goes off, 16 and the 16 goes off. I have 2 times 17 divided by 34 equals A. So, my A is 1. Okay. So, this is my final answer.